Let me know when you leave surface, reach bottom. Well, my name is Humberto Santiago. I am 40 years old and I am from Toa Baja, Puerto Rico. And my job here at the, on this mission is a uh, diving supervisor. Um, you just jump in and you know you just feel invigorated and he calls it his saltwater therapy. It's something that I love to do. And um, you know, there's like that saying, you know, if you're afraid of dying, you're never gonna really fully live, right? Green diver, move back to your tent, straight up and down. Humberto was 11 when he got his dive certification, and he's a competitive spear fisherman. The ocean, yeah, it's his happy place. When I'm free diving and I jump in, everything, all my troubles, anything could be happening in my life. And when I'm in the water, there's nothing but the water. He was fortunate enough to turn his passion into a profession. So when I initially went to join the Army, um, because I already was fluent in English and Spanish, I wanted to be a linguist. As I'm in there, I saw the diver thing, and I was like, oh no, I don't want to be a linguist, I want to be a diver. Santiago was the only Army student out of 10 to graduate dive school. He would go on to be an instructor at the dive school in Panama City, Florida, before he joined the 7th dive team in Hawaii. The soldiers in Hawaii uh, on the 7th, they get the opportunity like, to travel the world, right? See different cultures. I always tell them these are experiences that they'll be able to you know, talk about later. Where you go those tracking soup. Just stay where you are, get ready to travel. Both, both divers get ready to travel. Yep, Staff Sergeant Santiago was one of my phase two instructors. I didn't like him at the time in dive school because he was always a pain to deal with. I never understood it. And then I got to the unit, he was a totally different person, completely different animal, super helpful, incredibly wise. Staff Sergeant Santiago is amazing. He actually was one of my dive school instructors. You know, I, I was thinking he was picking on me and being mean to me and, you know, but he was doing it for a reason. He was doing it because he wanted to see, like, if this guy's gonna be an asset to my team or if he's not. And if he's not, then I don't want him to be a diver. The soldiers that I train to, you know, send off to the units, I always, I always, you know, towards the end of the course, I'll tell them, hey, I'm gonna see you guys again, you know? and everything that you know happened in school, and nothing's ever personal. If this is all, there's a purpose behind everything. Divers, on the same job? Yeah. You wanna make this dive? Yeah. You know your EPs? Yeah. Our job is innately dangerous. Um, it is underwater. It is not, not an environment that we are adept to survive in. There's only so much that the supervisor can do. They, they have to take care of themselves down there. Doesn't matter what I tell them on the surface, doesn't matter, it's, you're pretty much on your own underwater. So with these dives, we're doing a planned surface decompression. We're omitting required decompression in the water and opting it to do it inside the chamber. So there's only a limited amount of time, as you guys observed, right? It's once they start coming up, it's pretty fast moving, everybody's moving pretty quick. The 7th Dive Team partners with the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency. This trip, they're searching for missing crew members from a helicopter that crashed off the coast of Nha Trang, Vietnam, in 1971. This mission is uniquely special for him. It brought me back to where my dad served. He served in Vietnam. And so I was here and kind of like, I was here, he was here. He was pretty close to where we're at right now. But. To me, it's very important um, because I want to help fulfill, you know, our nation's promise. Um, one time I looked down where the, the rinsing stations were, and I saw the people dredging, you know, these are like young people. They weren't even born when these people died. And they're here trying to find them, you know? They're, they're like, they're brothers. You know, you join the military and it's a brotherhood. Doesn't matter what service you, you know, you, you go, we, you know, there's a promise and, and we're gonna find you. Santiago has found the perfect marriage of passion and purpose. It's a career of service that also fuels his soul. It's something that I love to do. The ocean has like this energy that I, I just get a, you know, from it. It's just peaceful. The ocean is a peaceful place. It's not a place for everyone, but it's a place for me.